Welcome to the Woodlay Weekly for February 8, 2023. Joined today by the, the very dynamic Mr. Mike Lanuza. Mike, how are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. All right. Hey, you've got all kinds of fun stuff to talk about. I uh, want to start off with uh, Wood County Early, Early Childhood Developmental Screenings are going to be uh, February 8th at uh, Ross Ray Elementary from 4.30 to 7 p.m. If any questions, by all means, please give anyone in our early intervention department a call and we'll, we'll get you organized. Uh, but Mike, you're here to talk about uh, Special Olympics basketball and regional games last weekend. Tell us tell us how it went last weekend. Uh, we got third place, uh, which is awesome. Uh, coaches Leanne, Greg Father, and Joe and Kent, a big shout out, good job. Uh, you know, we had a lot of supports out there to support us out there, and I, I, I loved it. <laughs> and uh, all reports are the teams all played their best games of the year. Yes. <laughs> all right, so congratulations to both the uh, Wood County Wildcats, both blue and silver basketball teams, but you're not done. No, right? Not. All right, so what what game is coming up on February 22nd? Uh, it's Wildcats versus staff uh, at February 22nd at the community center from 515 to 715. So be out there. Uh, let's go home, Wildcats. Uh, so, <laughs> so how do you think that night's going to go? It's going to go good. Um, I think I think it's going to be a tough one, but it's going to be fun. I like I like playing basketball with yeah. you. Yeah. So, yeah. Like, no, you know, I'm getting I'm already stretching. Yeah. Uh, and so, hey, uh, also we want to talk about the Wildcats swimmers. Yeah. Right, so when are they having competition? With uh, the February 28th at the BGSU. Come out and see the Wildcats swim. Uh, um, they're pretty good swimmers, I yes, agree. Very successful season, so a uh, chance to compete against the staff. And then uh, for March, Developmental Disability yes. Awareness, one of the uh, kind of the premier events really has become the Sunday basketball game. So, what night are we playing that? Uh, we are March 8th. At the BG Community Center from 5 30 to 7 30. Uh, be there for Cher San and uh, Sharon the Celebrities as well. So it's going to be a fun night. And uh, I just, you know, I, I love I love playing celebrities. So it doesn't uh, matter. So, number one, we're calling all Wood County celebrities. We'd love to have you join us. Uh, please let us know if you're available. We will make room. Uh, but also we have a few other things. We're going to have a DJ on hand that night. And then we have a couple of special guests that are coming out. Yes. Freddie and Frida. Oh, yeah. I'm a big fan of them. <laughs> and then we're also going to have an encore performance of I Dance. Uh, we'll be there. Uh, really looking forward to that. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, and then April 21st, uh, we're uh, traveling to Owens Community College. Uh, what's going on that day? Uh, they're having an advocacy technology fair. Yep. Uh, yeah. It's at the it's at Owens Community College uh, from eight thirty a.m. to four p.m. You're correct. We'll be having assistive technology fair out there, and uh, now we have time, but we want to make sure we're letting people know uh, it's going to be an all day event from eight thirty to four thirty. But want to give people a chance to get their schedules because we think they'll really enjoy that. Uh, and then we get to announce that Wood County Board of DD Apparel is, is available to anyone who wants it. Where can they find the link for that? Facebook, uh, Deadline, uh, possibly Twitter, if you can. Um, yeah. okay. So the deadline order is February 17th. Uh, there's an online link, uh, and there's really quite a few items that are available for people to, uh, to use. And then we want to talk about inclusive drum fits. So this past Monday, for the first time, uh, Jen Krause and our recreation department, they held uh, an inclusive drum fit where uh, members of the community join uh, individuals who receive services from the Board of DD uh, from 4.30 to 5.30. And to say it was a hit is an understatement. I mean, people were excited with the music and really want to thank the community members for coming out. But they'll be back every Monday. Uh, in addition to that, it was such a hit. We, we've already in the process of obtaining additional equipment so we can host larger classes. Yeah. So uh, thanks to everybody. Uh, but Mike, I, I know you had a few things you wanted to talk about. Uh, I want a big shout out to the uh, 
not all Mercury's. That was awesome what they did was for a fundraiser. Um, it's a terrific thing. It brought me to tears. But um, it's it's an awesome what they did for us, gave us a check and to help us out. And I appreciate all of them. And uh, I want a big shout out to my SSA Chad um, and my uncle who's not doing good right now. I just hope that everybody um, prays for him. And um, that's all I guess. All right. Well, thank you, Mike. And again, a huge shout out to the North Baltimore uh, Volunteer Fire Department. Uh, they uh, held a friendly, friendly competition with uh, flag football back in the fall. Then they recently played against the basketball teams. Uh, and they showed up with, uh, you know, a large donation for uh, Wake County Special Olympics. So thank you for the support. Uh, and again, uh, thank you for showing such great community leadership. And uh, Mike and I will see you next week.